Have you ever messed around with MMA? It's a complete... Yeah, you know, I grew up in MMA. Your brother, your brother was you know, just You know, my brother's in MMA. My dad was in UFC 3. Oh, wow. um, you know, my brothers and sisters, you know, are into the martial arts. They're into... Yeah, I got... I, I, I told my younger uh, sisters, they're... Um, they're Jiu-Jitsu and Judo champions. Um, you know, so I grew up into the MMA world, you know what I'm saying? Like it's I knew, different, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I knew about it. I used to roll around my brothers all the time. <laughs> you know, I was big on, on the mixed martial arts deal before it came over here into, you know, I mean, it turned into the UFC. You know, my dad was doing a lot of it in Japan with a lot of the veterans, you know, Ken Shamrock, um, you know, Maurice Smith, all those guys. So, so I'm not no stranger of it, and I, and I played with it a lot, you know, growing up. So. So I got a lot of tricks up my sleeves too, bro. <laughs> Are you guys you pick boxing instead? Uh, Are you guys yeah. pick boxing instead of you know MMA? What, man, I was a little chubby going up. I was a little chubby. Everybody else was slim, you know, wearing their geese and shit, going to karate class. I was, I mean, I was a badass kid. I just wanted to fight and throw hands, man. I wanted to do something different. So, um, you know, and, and train into that type of, you know, discipline. You know, my dad used to go to do martial arts. He used to go to the boxing gym and train. He used to, you know, he had to do everything. So we started taking to the boxing gym with him. And, yeah, that's why I fell in love. Man. So you can you see somebody different. being able to do both at all at some point? I could. <laughs> I believe I could. Like I talked to Dana White, I think, uh, a few months back, and uh -huh. I asked him. I said, "Hey, you know, like I said, I've known him for a long time. He's known my family for a while." And I asked him. I said, "Has ever been a champion in boxing?" And then you know, you know, and also have a champion in uh, you know UFC mixed martial arts. I said, "Never." I said I might be the first. So you gonna try MMA? I first? might be the first. I have who, a title. Who would be your fight? I know you're strategic. Who would be a guy you'd look at and be like, I want him? You know, main wise, Frankie Edgar. Frankie Edgar, Chad. We got Chad Mendez. We good. He got suspended though. Did he? He got two years. He out the gate. For taking that uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Chad. Chad got caught with that uh oh. What? That's crazy. Nah, I didn't hear that. I got caught with some new weed. Yeah? Yeah. Ah, shit. Damn, uh, there goes that name. Yeah, I mean, there's anybody in that division, man. Like I said, I grew up doing it, man. I know, you know, a lot about it. You know, I wrestled growing up, too. And I, as I did jiu-jitsu, of course, I boxed. and did a little kickboxing as well. So, I mean, that won't be, uh, I mean, that won't be a hard transition. Why is it we always hear about when it's UFC and boxing, it's always to fight in the octagon and not the other way around? Because the because they don't want none of that. They don't want none of that. I mean, any way they can, any way they can get a box in their cage, they're gonna do it. And they're gonna take them down. I mean, the last fight you seen do that was what, with James Tony. Yeah. You seen what happened? I mean, they don't want no parts of that boxing situation, man. Like I said, the MMA shit, they. I they practice a lot of different disciplines. And they're not the best just at one. So that boxing deal they won't they definitely won't go in the ring.